I'm going through it. I want you to ignore everything that's going on back there, okay? Maybe I should fix it. There's quite a few things I actually want you to ignore. One being, I don't know how my skin looks in terms of like, it's so dry right now and I'm, the foundation I'm using is just, I don't know if it's like expired, but it's just making my skin look dry. My hair is super greasy. You're like, shut up. I want to become a false eyelash wearer. So I'm practicing my fake eyelashes and I don't know how well I did. I don't think I did a bad job, but in person, I don't know if it's like amazing. So hi, welcome back to my, oh, we're also gonna ignore the fact that my shirt needs a steam. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Liger Shaw, if you're new here, hi. We make fashion and lifestyle content and we're very excited to have you. I am gonna do summer trends. I've done a spring trends, but you know, summer is fast approaching. Thank God it is like a nice 20, something degrees in Toronto today. I'm just gonna do a few summer trends that I will be wearing. I'm not gonna like overload you with trends because I think that you need to decipher what trends you like the best. And then you need to think about if those trends are something that you will probably wear for a long time, if it's something that you truly enjoy and then put them into your wardrobe. So I only have a few for you, specifically the ones that I'm probably gonna wear. The month of May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And as you probably know, if you've been watching me for a long time, I've struggled with mental health issues my whole life, depression and anxiety. I'm pretty open about it. Pretty open about things that have worked for me and therapy is one of them. I've been working with BetterHelp for a couple years now and I really do think BetterHelp is so incredible. It is more affordable than traditional therapy. It also is very convenient, especially for people who are on the go or if you just don't have the time or the ability to go to therapy, it's right here on your computer, on your phone. It's online therapy. They have over 20,000 therapists. Um, you just literally sign up super quickly and then they match you with someone. And obviously if that person's not a right fit for you, you can find someone else. Just like traditional therapy, you'd have to kind of, sometimes you have to like date around to different therapists to make sure that you find one that fits. But once that happens, you can, you know, it's just like traditional therapy. You can schedule your appointments and you just call or text or whatever, whatever is easiest for you, they have the option for. So you just fill out a questionnaire that kind of just like goes over the specific needs that you need. And within 48 hours, you are matched. I think when I did it, I was matched under 24 hours. It was super quick for me. Around this time last year, actually, it was really, really tough for me. I was having extreme anxiety. I was having anxiety attacks. I was in a really bad headspace. So I signed up for BetterHelp. And as I said, I was matched within 24 hours. I started therapy and it was really helpful to be able to speak to someone who was, you know, third party. It wasn't like putting the burden on friends or family. Not that it feels like a burden for them, but it can be tough to even just like, you know, maybe in your head think it's like dumb. Like I sometimes I'm like, are my problems dumb? Like, do I feel like this is that like, is someone gonna think it's dumb? And you know, when you have a therapist, it's like, they won't because that's what they're there for. They're there to help you. They're there to listen to you, help you with coping skills. If you or someone you know are struggling with mental health, um, I, would definitely recommend checking out BetterHelp and maybe sending it to them. This is not a crisis hotline, so I will have some links down below if you are struggling in that sense. And you can use my link in the description as well to get 10% off your first month to even um, reduce the financial burden a little more. Thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Thank you for being a partner and thank you for taking care of not only me, but so many people around the world and giving access to mental health care because it is not something that is I think, specifically in Toronto, I think is very easy and accessible and this is a very easy and accessible way to get mental health care. So thank you. Let's get into the summer, summer trends. First one is midi and maxi skirts. I have always been a maxi skirt kind of girl. I love maxi skirts. I love mini skirts too. And I know those will obviously be in as well, but there's something about like a maxi skirt. It just makes you look tall. I feel like when you wear a mini skirt, there's a lot of like fidgeting or like pulling down or like trying to sit down and not showing your underwear. It's just like, it's a whole thing. So a maxi skirt is very easy breezy. It is very comfortable. I love the way it looks. Uncle just came out with a maxi skirt in three different colors. And and I'm obsessed. I love it so much. Like I, I just love the maxi skirt. It's just an easy, great piece to wear. I think big ones are gonna be in, but I also think more like slim kind of more 90s ones are gonna be in as well. My absolute favorite, I, I don't even know, this isn't even a trend. This is just a staple. The second summer trend is plain white ribbed tanks. When I tell you I live and buy by the plain white ribbed tank, 
I really do. I just wear them almost every day. Like I just love a plain white tank. I think it looks so cool. It adds like a cool factor to every outfit. It's like a little bit sexy, any, any kind, lower neck, high neck, racerback, normal. Like I just love a plain white rib tank. And I feel like all of these like different items, like a maxi skirt, you just wear the plain white tank or a mini skirt, you just wear the plain white tank. And it just like adds, it like dresses down an outfit and just looks like cool. Love it. Uncle has plain white tanks as well. And we are coming out with some other styles to some higher neck ones. A little hack that I have is with my uncle white tank that has like more of a lower neck. It's more of like a classic. If I want to have a high neck, I just wear it backwards. And it looks really good. Something that I'm sure, you know, we've all seen is Y2K fashion. I want to like incorporate this into my closet in a way that like, I don't have to really like buy a lot of new pieces. And I've already obviously gone through Y2K fashion because in 2003, I was 10. So I remember wanting to wear like some of the sexier things and my mom being like, eh, you're 10. So no, I remember I really wanted to wear like a really crop top and like a real like really low rise jeans. My mom was like, uh, probably not. So I didn't. So now I can wear that if I want. Y2K fashion is coming back. And a great way to do this without having to like break the bank and buy new pieces is one, just wear your pants lower <laughs> so that they aren't like high waisted if you can. Two is like buy accessories like the, gla the sunglasses or like a trucker hat. That's kind of how I've been doing it. I've, I've got these like cool pink square glasses. I bought a trucker or I was gifted a trucker hat and I've been wearing that a lot. You know, if your pants are high waisted, you could like roll them down like this. Y2K fashion is like, it's like kind of messy. I don't know if you understand what I mean by that. Like it doesn't really matter. So you can just like kind of do whatever you want. And it's kind of like, it kind of fits. So. That's how I feel about Y2K. On the Y2K trend, platform sandals. I, I have mixed feelings. I have a pair. I have a pair from Ducey. I have another pair from Mango. I have a pair from Steve Madden or something. I have some pairs and I find them a bit heavy, but I think they're cool on occasion. I think they're they're cool in some, some instances. In my summer outfits, I did, they're not like super platform, but they're like a little bit of a platform flip flop. And I think those, those are cool, but I definitely wouldn't be wearing them like every day personally. But I think that they can add a, like an edge factor. You also get height without having to wear a heel. Amazing, love that. And then the next trend on like the complete opposite spectrum of the chunky platform sandal, are the barely there sandals. I just bought a pair from the row. These are gonna always be in style. What I have been seeing is like the barely there going into like gladiator. So I'm a little concerned about that, but the barely there sandal is just like, it just makes your leg look super long. Very just like not really part of the outfit, which I really like because sometimes outfits like you just can't figure out the right shoe to wear. And the barely there sandal is a perfect sandal for that because it doesn't really add anything to the outfit. It just kind of you know, gives you a shoe to wear. So I bought a pair from the row. I found them on sale and I love them. They're flat. You can obviously get them in a heeled version too. Like there's so many different variations, but this is a trend that isn't gonna be something that you buy and then, you know, not you're not gonna be able to wear it the next year. Like the Barely There sandal is always gonna be in style and it's always gonna be something that looks good. And then my last trend is psychedelic prints or just like prints and fun prints in general. I've been seeing a ton of like, 70s prints and just some fun kind of like psychedelics with like colors I like Kendall Jenner wore this like Luave dress that had like a little psychedelic print. I love Maisie Willen prints. Casablanca has great prints. There's all of these like fun prints and they're kind of just like on this like psychedelic 70s, 60s, like just a lot going on. And I think that's a really fun way. Again, if you're not looking to like get a full outfit in those prints, adding accessory with those prints to kind of feel like you're on trend. Scarf maybe just a top, something like that. But I think that because it's not such like a set print, it's like kind of all over the place, you can definitely find a print that you like and that fits with your wardrobe and isn't something that you're gonna get sick of. So those are my trends for this summer. What trend are you excited to wear this summer? I need to know. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram. Love you all, peace and love. Bye.